18 Best Star Trek Episodes and Movies to Watch During the Holidays Christmas and the holidays aren't widely celebrated in the Star Trek universe, but that doesn't mean that there aren't some perfect episodes and movies to enjoy over the holiday season. References to Christmas are few and far between in Star Trek, Captain James T. Kirk, William Shatner, reflects on a Christmas party aboard the USS Enterprise in the TOS episode Dagger of the Mind, and LT. Commander Data, Brent Spiner, rehearses the role of Ebenezer Scrooge in the Star Trek, the next generation episode Devils Do. However, holidays are about more than just Santa Claus and the birth of the baby Jesus, they're about family and togetherness, looking forward and looking backwards. There's a reason that there's a British tradition of the Christmas ghost story, as the cold, dark nights force people to reflect on the past year and to think about those they've lost. From Star Trek, The Next Generation's notorious Sub Rosa to Star Trek, Voyager's The Haunting of Deck 12, Thefrenkais has its fair share of ghost stories. The holidays are also a time for colorful celebrations of life, from the UK tradition of the fairy tale pantomime to the Hollywood tradition of releasing a big blockbuster movie over the festive season. There are several big blockbuster Star Trek movies, several of which provide hugely enjoyable family viewing for the holiday season. Death Wish is Star Trek, Voyager's Best Q, John Delancey, Episode, and also features the titular starship reduced to the size of a Christmas ornament. However, that brief sequence where the crew stare perplexed at giant pine needles and festive boggles isn't the only reason it's a good episode to watch during the holidays. Q spends the episode trying to convince Captain Catherine Janeway, Kate Mulgrew, that the universe is a better place with the suicidal Quinn, Garrett Graham, in it. It's effectively an admittedly bleaker, Star Trek version of the Christmas classic It's a Wonderful Life with John Delancey's Q in the role of a sinister Clarence. The Christmas argument is often an inevitability when multiple generations of a family are united under one roof. The perfect Star Trek episode to explore family dysfunction is Journey to Babel, in which Sarek, Mark Leonard, is first introduced, alongside his wife Amanda Grayson, Jane Wyatt, it provides a fascinating insight into the relationship between LT. Commander Spock, Leonard Nimoy, and his estranged father, with both men eventually reconciling their differences during an attempt on Sarek's life. While most family holidays don't culminate in attempted political assassination, the theme of the pressure to live up to parental expectations is painfully relevant at this time of year. Star Trek, The Next Generation Season 2 premiere, The Child, is effectively the nativity set aboard the USS Enterprise D. Counselor Deanna Troy, Marina Sirtis, experiences an immaculate conception when a celestial being seeks to learn more about human existence. Born aboard the Enterprise, the child bonds with Troy before tragically dying, returning to his higher plane of existence. It's a surprisingly on-the-nose religious allegory for Gene Roddenberry's TNG, given his own atheist outlook. William Shatner's Star Trek movie is another attempt by the franchise to tell a nativity story. Three wise men, Kirk, Spock, McCoy, follow a star to come closer to God, at the behest of an untrustworthy shepherd, Cybok, Lawrence Luck and Bill. Star Trek V The Final Frontier is a deeply flawed movie, but there's an appropriately wintry and spiritual feel to it that makes it a good fit for the holiday season. Also, it has Captain Kirk fight God, which is something that the actual nativity story sadly lacks.